Hello, welcome Slashers, I'm Crypt here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, first, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support. Since the chair dropped, there's been a lot of theories that have come out, and I'll be talking about them in this video, and I'll also be giving you guys some insights that you guys might have not known about this chair, and it showed a lot more than... I mean, it showed a lot more than I thought, actually, without spoiling anything. So, without further ado, I'm going to get into this. I want to first say that if you haven't seen my trailer breakdowns yet, I would recommend seeing those because I did show a lot of stuff that some of you guys might have not noticed. And I will be taking the information that I have from those breakdowns plus more and I will be talking about them in this video so if you haven't seen the breakdowns yet pause this video and head right to them I will try to remember to put a link down in the description so yeah but without further ado I'm gonna get into this so this first theory is really common among all of you guys you guys are saying the woman that's seen talking to Andy is Glenda, while well, the guy I call Mr. Jumpy, also the guy with the hoodie that I talked about on my trailer breakdown, is Gwen. Well, guys, I'm gonna tell you guys a little something that you guys might not know about. The guy that you're calling Glenn is actually Officer Santin, who got his throat slashed at the end of Curse of Chucky. So, does this still mean that could possibly be Gwen? I mean, it can be, because we don't know why he's alive. And as for the Gwenda theory, I mean, that's not far-fetched at all. And that actually is pretty, a little scary to think about if Dom is seen actually implemented the two in this way. But I'm going to go into the possibilities as to how Officer Santa could still be alive. I mean, honestly, I don't see the... You know, Gwen being in Officer Santa's body being too far-fetched. Because that would be very much true. But, you know, he was brought back some way. That's obviously the only way I could think of it. Or maybe um, I'll, there's more, like, voodoo that will be touched on in this film. Like, maybe, you know, what if there's, like, a hypnosis like spell or something that she uses on him or something i'm not sure honestly because right now the most believable theory is that it can be glenn who transferred his soul into officer santa's body because i can't think of any other way but the only way or the only thing that i can think of that debunks this theory is the fact that glenn's a good guy and i mean i couldn't see glenn helping out his father because, yo, know, Gwen, and from, you know, Sia Chucky, he was a really kind person. And I couldn't see him doing this. And to me, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, you know, that's what a lot of people are saying. You know, it's, it's probably Gwen. But I'm not so sure because he's actually a good guy. So, I mean, what do you guys think? That's, I mean, I don't know. It's possible, but... I'm not completely sure exactly, but let me know what you guys think about how he got brought back to life because it could be anything at this point. And I'm having trouble thinking of, you know, reasons how because it's such a hard topic to talk about. And I can't think of any ways he could have been brought back to life besides the fact that someone transferred their soul into him. So I'm not sure. Now next, I'd like to speak about the breastfeeding lady. Now, there are some opinions and thoughts they have on this. First, that's just fucked up. Like, what just happened in this trailer? Oh. I don't like... Maybe... I'm thinking maybe Chucky might have bit her because there's a... a scene where it shows there's blood on her shirt. 
And so I'm thinking, you know, maybe whatever he did, you know, maybe she's going to, you know, kind of, kind of like a, um, kind of like, you know, a xenomorph, how it comes out of his stomach. Maybe a Chucky comes out of her mouth because it was like a hand sticking out, like there's, like there's like a hand sticking out of her mouth in one of the shots. And so I'm thinking maybe if there's something like that, or if you pay attention, a lot of people um, are saying that when Chucky cuts over the cu cuts open the stomach, like when the guts, you know, like kind of pop out. People, some people are saying that there was possibly like a baby in there. I'm not sure. I mean, I looked at it numerous times, and I'm not so sure if that's what I see. But that's. I don't know um, what to actually say about that because I don't think that's a baby. I think that's just guts, but that's ah, uh, it's possible. But I honestly think that she might be in it with it. You know, I think she might be helping out Chucky or something. Because if you look here, you know, this is the same woman. Um, she's holding Chucky and. He he's like whispering in her ear and stuff and he's like she's like hugging him and stuff and so I'm thinking maybe like she's like in this cult or something with him and there's like a hole and maybe she's gonna kill herself and fall into the hole. I mean I don't know what to think honestly because I mean as you can see, she died because, like, the hand sticking out of her mouth and possibly another Chucky was made that way. And if you look here, she's holding another Chucky. She walks into the room with another Chucky. And so I don't know what exactly to say because I think she has some involvement with this. And that's why she's breastfeeding a Chucky because maybe, you know, that might be her DNA in that specific Chucky. I don't know. It's just so much to... What do you guys think? This is a lot to talk about. And, I mean, I think she's a part of the cult. That's what I think. I think she's helping out Chucky somehow. And she's involved. Because as I showed you guys, she she's already looking pretty dirty. So, so this next one was sent to me over Twitter by Brooke. And it's... Just kind of explains the intro of Colt to Chucky. It says that it opens with the funeral and it opens with Chucky being tortured by Andy. And you know what? That isn't so far fetched because if you see, if you look at this f screenshot right here, he has a blowtorch and he's about to use it somehow. And I mean, I mean, when I first saw the blowtorch, I was like, hmm. You know, maybe he's, you know, after he shoots Chucky, maybe he's using the blowtorch on Chucky to make him melt so how oh, he could dispose of, you know, Chucky. And so, you know, that would somehow be the reason, you know, that would, like, shape up to be the reason as to why there's multiple Chuckies. And that's kind of what my theory there was, but... He could very much be torturing Chucky with this, and the same thing could very much happen, but, um, yeah, he pretty much, you know, he's either torturing Chucky or he's melting Chucky, and it somehow shapes up to actually be a big mistake. What do you guys think? This next theory comes from Iron Wolf Network, and he thinks that the reason why Chucky says, <laughs> And they call me sick? Is because... The psychiatrist that treats Nika may possibly have a thing for, um, if I put it, if this is the right way to put it, is lustful for her or has a sexual thrill for her. In that sense, that's why he's on his knees and he wants to do things to her. That could possibly be it, but the, another way to look at it is maybe he just, he does these methods like, giving people shots and it doesn't help at all and maybe he even knows it that the methods he's trying to do to treat Nika aren't helping and it's basically you know shaping people up to be a fried vegetable and that's 
another way to look at it. So, what do you guys think on this? I mean, I, I can't wait to see what Chucky's real reasoning behind saying that is. But that could possibly be it. We'll have to find out. Another theory that people are bringing up is that Alice is one of the Chuckies. Now, here is actually why I think this is wrong in so many ways that this isn't true. To me, it doesn't feel like it's actually a real theory. It doesn't make any sense because if there's going to be numerous Chuckies running around killing people. I don't see why Alice would be one of them. I mean, I, I'd honestly think as the Chuckies to be numerous different Chuckies, you know, it's just, it's the same Chucky, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's Chucky and all, it's just split up into multiple Chuckies, is how I look at it, and plus, I think that she actually, her soul was trans, you know, transferred into the grandma, actually, that was actually at the end of Curse, and I actually did a video on this quite a bit ago, some years back, if you guys want to check that out, I will try not to forget to leave it down in the description below. It is an older video, but I explain a theory that was going on around the internet that Alice's soul is actually transferred into the grandma. So that's why I think I don't think you know it's I I don't think she's one of the Chuckies. To me, it just, just doesn't make any sense because. I mean, what she wouldn't be killing people anyway because, you know, I just don't see it happening. But what do you guys think? The final theory I have for you guys is that Eddie Caputo is one of the Chucky dolls. Now, this is a very underrated theory, and I've only heard a few of you guys bring it up, and that was it. So, I don't think this is true, and... There's so many reasons as to why I think this. So, here we go. To throw you guys back, Eddie Caputo is Charles E. Ray's partner in crime. Also, the guy who was supposed to get him out of the area when things went sour and he was running from the cops. And so, as soon as he caught wind of a cop car that showed up in the area, he ran for it. And that's when Chucky grew a grudge for Eddie Caputo and he threatened the cop's life and Eddie Caputo as he's running from the cop in the toy store. From there, when Chucky gets into the doll, he soon has Andy take him to Eddie Caputo. And he settles his score with him once and for all. He runs into the abandoned house that Eddie Caputo is staying in. And he wakes him up by meddling around in the place. And he actually sets the oven and stove up. So that when Eddie Caputo shoots it. The whole house blows up. The whole house and Eddie Caputo just blow up. You know just baboosh. So I'm about to explain why I don't think this is true. And that's because he blew up. And that means there's possibly just nothing left of him. You know. The skeleton of bones. And. Plus he's been dead for quite a bit. So. This doesn't make too much sense to me. Why he'd be in one of the dolls. Because he's been dead for quite a bit. And. Getting his soul. Into. You know a doll. Just would be too difficult. It just wouldn't make too much sense. If that was the case. So I don't think. The other Chucky dolls, Eddie Caputo. I mean, if anything, I think all of the Chucky dolls are. If there's more than two, I mean, you know, they're all just they're all Chucky. It's just in multiple dolls is what I think. But if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. To join Sister Posse family and share. Sharing really helps my channel, especially share this video, because there's a lot of theories that have been talked about in this video and. It will get your hearts racing, and I'm very excited about this film. I don't know about you guys, and especially talk about all these theories because it gets me more hyped up for the film. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this theory video, and I want to thank you guys real quick so much for all the support. I've been getting a lot of support lately, you know, ever since I dropped the... Well, actually, before I even dropped the trailer reaction, a lot of you guys have been supporting my newer 
um, Chucky news videos and been showing a lot of love and support for the trailer breakdowns and the trailer reaction itself, even though it wasn't the Red Band trailer I reacted to because at the time I don't think it was out. And I actually caught wind of it a little late. But yeah, guys, um, I'm going to go and thank you all for watching. Peace. A true classic never goes out of style. <laughs>